but Shan, you work for the Department of Justice. Could the Justice Department at this moment just kind of demand and say, sure, we're going to hold this meeting, but it has to be bipartisan? I think they could, and to follow up on Chris's point, I mean, I think it's a very oddly political move for the Justice Department to make to agree to only have Republicans come in. I mean, when I worked for Attorney General Reno, the department was extremely cautious about looking as though it was favoring one side or the other. Even the way this deal was brokered, which is the White House Chief of Staff, appropriate, right. I'm relieved to hear that he's not going to be reviewing it because he clearly does not have any oversight duties whatsoever. So I think the department could do that, and it seems very odd they've agreed to these ground rules, but it's probably because they're trying to find some appeasement strategy here. Well, let's see exactly. There's still something like 24 hours until the meeting, so it all can change before then. <laughs> um, but yeah, and also, Michael Cohen's business partner, or maybe not, depending on who you're talking to, the New York Times says that Gene Friedman is now going to cooperate with state and federal investigators. It, it kind of makes me wonder if that would include the special counsel. Do you think that's the case, Jan? Um, I think it is, and it's important to remember that the New York State AG, at least the previous one, um, was quite aggressive with regard to any of the Trump uh, businesses and actually had asked for an exemption to be put through that if there was a presidential pardon granted, mm -hmm. that that would exempt New York from pursuing its matters. So his plea agreement, as is common, apparently requires him to, to cooperate with both federal as well as state investigations. One thing I would note is, as was already reported, he got a very, very good deal. I mean, the amount of loss was greatly reduced, which is important. He's looking at no jail time. And sort of something that made me smile was the fact that when he talked about his lawyers, it's a standard litany of questions. I always tell my clients, when the judge says, are you satisfied with the service of your lawyers? The answer is yes. He wasn't just yes. He was like, I am, quote, extremely satisfied. So he got a very good deal. <laughs> and maybe that's, <laughs> that says it all in that one statement. But, and, but Chris, this all, everything that Michael Cohen is facing, unless it means that he would flip, this could all have nothing to do with Donald Trump. Well, I would say currently, based on what we know, has nothing to do with a special counsel investigation into r Russian meddling, right? The, the Michael Cohen stuff is, was referred to the Southern District of New York by the FBI and the Mueller probe, right. but, but not related directly to it. Now, do I think that there is pressure on Cohen to flip in exchange for a plea deal? Yes. Do I think that that pressure is related to a belief, I don't know if it's a knowledge, but certainly a belief that he knows things about Donald Trump or Trump associates, uh, Jared Kushner, Don Jr., whoever, uh, that other people do not know, that he is privy to information? Yeah, I, I do think that. But it, but currently, these are two separate endeavors. I, they, they have strings attached between them, but they are not fused together. Let me ask you both quickly this. Chris, what do you think, if anything, changed overnight? The president going from, if there was a spy in my campaign, to there was a spy. Uh, no, I mean, this is standard operating procedure for him. I know this is a new thing as it relates to the, the spy or informant or confidential source, but, but nothing has changed. He's using uh, this sort of a lighting of facts that don't exist, candidly, uh, to make a case to his base that the entire FBI and Justice Department are somehow deeply compromised, and in the end, he will use that argument to rebut any negative findings of the Mueller probe. It's well, not then, new, it's just a new arm of it. But then, but Shan, real quick, then if the IG comes back and says, no spies in our midst, no spies among us, um, will Donald Trump, do you think, what does that mean, what happens then? Uh, I think uh, that the president's already setting the stage for undercutting that potential yep. verdict yeah. from the IG. And I think the only thing that's really changed is I think he was very heartened by the fact that this meeting has been brokered. I think he's going to try to fold that into his potential attack on them. Great to see both of you. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.